and welcome to Grilling and Chilling with Coleman. And unless the real Coleman is still stuck at home cooking uh, cooking with an Instapot, I'm Coleman. I'm out here at the Memphis in May event, and I appreciate you joining me today. Let me turn the comments on real quick so I can see your comments. Kent with Daddy Dutch Barbecue, I can see you here. Thanks for joining me today, buddy. Uh, we're out here at the Memphis in May event. And again, I'm cooking this week with the uh, Cackle and Oink uh, barbecue team. And again, we're with Aaron Vogel out here today. And after yesterday's event, or after yesterday's live event, we had a lot of questions about the trailer that we were standing in front of and the trailer that we're using this week to produce all the great barbecue this week. Now, there's a story behind this trailer. This is a brand new trailer that was put together this for this, this year's event. And uh, there's a story behind that because he, there was a older trailer. There was a trailer that was around a couple years ago, but something happened to it. And I invited Aaron back on today to kind of talk to us about, about that trailer and what happened to it and why it's not here. And then Jeff here in the background, he's one of the builders that had a lot to do with this trailer. He's going to walk us through this new trailer talk to us about the build and the equipment and what's all on here and show us around and give us a tour of the trailer. So we're going to get some exciting, uh, an exciting view behind the scenes of what goes on with a professional cook team just like this. So Aaron, I'm going to give the microphone to you. Tell us about your trailer, what you call it, why it's here, and why the old one's not. I got you. <laughs> well, it's kind of bittersweet because we did love the Jolly Porker one, and Jolly Porker is uh, the name of our barbecue trailer. This is the JP2. Um, two years ago, we were on our way here from uh, Sherman, Texas, and things got a little squirrely on the highway, almost a little rock. And so you were on the way to this event last year, or two years two ago? Two years ago, okay. yeah. Yep. Uh, things got a little squirrely, and uh, we wrecked the trailer and the truck and we lost completely everything that we had um <clears throat> jr one of our team members um and eric uh, immediately uh kind of behind my back without my knowledge got uh together with a lot of our barbecue buddies from memphis from texas from arkansas and uh we ended up coming all the way my wife was very uh, encouraging that I don't come back home without, you know, competing first. So, so she uh, told you not to come back home. Right. Okay. She, sa she said, you're going to finish what you started. Okay. And you're going to go to Memphis and do the best you can do. Okay. And it was a long week. It was a rough week. But um, we did what we had to do. We did it all on borrowed equipment, uh, smokers, uh, a kitchen that we've never cooked in or cooked with. Um but we ended up finishing that year 15th overall. Okay. So I heard an exciting story that Sarge, the, actually the owner of, mm -hmm. of uh, Whole Hog mm -hmm. Cafe mm -hmm. and has a barbecue team here who competes in this event, mm -hmm. loaned you his trailer, mm -hmm. pulled it out, pulled it out of retirement, loaned it to you, mm -hmm. let you cook on it last year. Mm -hmm. And uh, the whole barbecue community just turned out and made sure you had everything you needed to uh to compete last year. Is that true? That's exactly right. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. And, and Sarge, I'm actually going to be interviewing him hopefully a little bit later this afternoon. If you guys don't know Sarge, he is he is royalty when it comes to the barbecue community and competing, especially when it comes to Whole Hog. He owns a, a, a chain of barbecue stores called the uh, Whole Hog Restaurant. And I'm going to be interviewing him a little bit later, and I'm going to be putting out a video on that. Now, behind us is a trophy. And this is a trophy that Aaron won, and we talked about it a little bit on the uh, live event yesterday. And there's some damage on this trophy. Why don't you tell mm -hmm. us about that damage, Aaron? Well, this, there's, whenever we wrecked two years ago, there was only two things that really survived that were worth keeping. Okay. One was this trophy. You know, it, it's a little banged up. I was going to have it fixed by someone, but it adds character. And it okay. tells a good story. Right. Uh, when it's not with us at our cook-offs, it's standing in the restaurant in the corner. Yep. And a lot of people ask, you know, is it supposed to be bent up like that? <laughs> and then we tell our story. Okay. The other thing was uh, our vault smoker. Uh, his name's Big Carl. Okay. And he survived for the most part. Okay. There was a little damage that Jeff will talk about in a little bit. But, uh, but these two things and myself were the only things that made it through. Perfect. And you were driving when, when, right. when the accident happened. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, perfect. Well, yeah. I appreciate that. Thanks for telling us the story. 
So now we're going to thank you, Aaron. I appreciate yeah. that. Yes, sir. So now we're going to turn it over to, to Jeff here in the back. I'm actually going to get behind the camera so that I can uh, I can film Jeff. If you've got any questions about any of the equipment that's on the trailer or anything that have to do with the build, uh, Jeff here is he's actually been my roommate this uh, the, one of my roommates this week, and we've been working together. Sorry about that. But uh, he's been having to put up with me. But he's one of the fabricators that has really worked real hard building this trailer. And I and he's got some great stories he's been telling me about the trailer. I said, you know what? We need to put those stories in a video. We need to get those stories out because there is some interesting stuff when it comes to this trailer. So I'm going to get behind the camera. I'm going to turn the mic over to him and let him give you give us a tour. But why don't we start off by you introducing yourself? Hey, guys. I'm Jeff Schneider. Uh, I'm just a just a welder. No claim to fame other than that, but you know that this trailer, uh, of course, we we started planning this build uh, the weekend that we had that wreck. You know, we, of course, like you were saying, we were on, on borrowed equipment, and uh, we were trying to to look at how can we incorporate uh, new ideas. What did we learn from the old trailer? What can we do to to make this thing more efficient, easier to set up? Uh, but still have some of the old with the new. Uh, I, think, I think the first thing that got worked on was was this the smoker. All right, before you get started, let me go ahead and switch the camera real quick. Give me two seconds. I'm going to switch to the back camera. Hopefully you can still hear me. We're switching to the back camera. There we go. So if you... I'm gonna, I'm gonna. If you can still hear me, uh, if you've got a question for Jeff during during his uh, during his tour that he's gonna give us, um, just uh, put it in the comments. Put four question marks. Put four question marks, and then uh, uh, four question marks. Your question, or excuse me, three question marks. Your question, and then three question marks after that. That way, I can see your questions in the comments, and I can make sure Jeff gets them answered. So, Jeff, take it, take it. It's all you. Okay, well, uh, like I said, the, the, the first thing that hit the shop uh, when we had to do the rebuild, you know, we drove to Melbourne, Arkansas, and got everything that we could salvage and, and brought it home to Texas. The first thing that hit the shop was the smoker. And uh, this this smoker on, on this side, it, it had a, a hole you could almost put your fist through. And uh, so the first project was cutting about a 14-inch long, uh, you know, about 8-inch tall, section out of the wall, re-weld it, you know, buff it down, clean it up. But aesthetically, it doesn't look good having, you know, just a great big patch on it. So we, we added on both sides so it would look the same. We've got brushed stainless steel on both sides of the smoker now. And uh, I can you know, see it's rolling smoke up there. You bet. <laughs> and so, uh, you know, Aaron bought this trailer. It's a Diamond C, Diamond C trailer. And it's just basically just a flatbed, and uh, we took it from the ground up from there. Uh, one, one thing that on the old trailer, the entire floor was bar grating, which is this this grating here that I'm standing my, my foot on here. And when Aaron had the, the first trailer built, all of this bar grating came out of Graceland. It so came from where? It came from Graceland. Graceland. Okay, yes. like Elvis Graceland. Yes, sir. Okay. And so we wanted to try to incorporate some 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 of the old with the new. So when we got to Melbourne, Arkansas, you know, I'd taken a cutting torch with me, and I cut out what I could of the floor that was still salvageable, and we incorporated this into the build because it's, it's really handy as well as far as dry rub on your fingers and uh, it's somewhere for sauce and stuff to fall up to you know keep the floor clean. Uh, but other than that, you know, he, he reached out to TrueCraft and, and, and Aaron bought these cabinets, countertops. All of these came from them. And then, um, you know, we wanted to try to utilize every square inch of the trailer that we could just for storage and, and try to make sure that, you know, it, we're, 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 like I said, utilizing every little square inch. Uh, we didn't have sunshades on the last one and we knew we wanted some sort of a sunshade device. So we've got three sections here that are hinged and they're all on gas shocks. They've just got spring loaded latches that uh, you, know, you just pull them down, last them in place and, and you run down the road. Uh, we did them on both sides. So you can kind of pick and choose uh, depending on what the wind is doing. If it's really windy, we can pull one side down and close it up. If it's really bad 
and uh, we've got rain coming. We can just close the whole trailer up, and, and, and we're pretty well in the dry. Now, I notice the front is open. Does it close up at all? It does not. We, we contemplated doing something with the front, but we were just kind of worried about the wind drag okay. as far as uh, you know, running the highway. So just leave it completely open? Uh, it's still up for discussion. We may still try to do something with it. Okay. You know, this thing is going to be a, it's going to be a progression. It's continually under construction. Uh, the last trailer had a party deck on it, of course, as well. And uh, he wanted to do the same thing on this one. Of course, this trailer is four feet longer. The last one was a 20-foot deck. This one's a 24 so uh, we wanted to make the rails user friendly, so they're all on quick quick hinges that are you know everything's collapsible. If two guys roll into a barbecue competition and need to set up within ten minutes, all the sunshades can be out, all the handrails can be stood up, all the parts and pieces are together, and you're off to cook. And uh, that that was a, that was a big deal, making sure we could get set up quickly and then put our, our our dedicate the attention to what we're here to do, and that's cook. That's cook. Now, you mentioned party deck. Does this one have a party deck? Oh, yeah. Okay, you so bet. we won't be going up there on, on this live, Yeah. but on a, on one of our future lives here, we will be going up in the party deck and uh, and taking a look of the entire event from up there. Yeah. The, what, what other kind of equipment we got here? Uh, we've got the Blackstone back here where we can, uh, we've got a couple of burners on it, and then uh, you know, there's a, quite a bit of breakfast that gets slayed on this bad boy. Uh, we do... We've got a, a pit we bring with us, this JR's pit. We bring it to Memphis. So we've got an additional uh, smoker on here. Uh, is this another cabinet smoker? It is. Okay. It's, a, it's a backwoods uh, It's a backwoods smoker. Okay. You know, they're, they're really good, really efficient pits. How often do you use this one? Uh, we may use it on rib day. It's, it's just okay. kind of hit and miss. You know, okay. it's, it's always nice to have a backup plan. Okay. Somewhere else where you can get a lot of the small fire and, and, and keep things warm if you don't want to use a cambro. Or, okay. um, now the refrigerator, I'm assuming that's where you keep your Kool-Aid and your apple juice. That's that's where we keep our cold, refreshing drinks that keep us hydrated. <laughs> like Gatorade. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, that's what yeah, it is. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. But that's the you know, in a nutshell, that's kind of it. Even the we've got a bar out here on the front of the well, trailer. Let's, let's go out the front. I I, I want to kind of show them the outside a little bit. I what guys do when they're when they're uh, after turn in. We've already turned in the wings today, so this is what guys do after after turn in today. <laughs> it's a horrible job, but somebody's got to do it. But uh, you can see the side, and uh, you can see the uh, the counter. No, actually, this is where the judges will be sitting on uh, Cor correct. on Saturday. Correct. That's where the judges will be served, and even even this table. It, it's pull two spring-loaded pins. It folds up, latches back into place. Everything's built to be quick and efficient. Even, even, even the ramps back here, we decided to leave them on, and we thought, well, we'll just figure out a way to make use of them. So we added two jacks on each corner, and it's somewhere just to, for cor uh, cooler storage. or uh, just, We haven't figured out what all we're going to do with it yet. But okay. I bet we'll, you know, we may be grilling steaks on it the next time you see it. But. And you can see Aaron going up the uh, spiral staircase. He's going up to the party deck, but we'll be going up there at a later date. Let me switch the camera back real quick. So we can see both of us. All right, hold on. It's taking a second. Give us a second. Camera switching. Sorry. Now, I haven't seen any questions come through. But if you've got some questions for us, remember go ahead and put go ahead and put three question marks your question and uh, three more question marks in the comments, and uh, we'll be happy to answer them while we're here. But uh, we're probably going to be going live again this evening when this place gets hopping. But today uh, we've already done two turn-ins today. One is a uh, vinegar sauce barbecue sauce that we turned in earlier, and then uh, we turned in our. Uh, our, it's the world championship of, of hot wings competition here, and we just turned in those at 2 o'clock today. And uh, so uh, they'll be awarding those, uh, I, I'm assuming, on Saturday. So, But uh, coming to you live from the uh, Memphis and May barbecue uh, competition, thank you guys for joining me. I appreciate you, you coming out with me and having a lot of fun with me here. If you've got some questions, leave them below. I'll try to get them answered for you. 
but we're having a lot of fun out here. And remember, <laughs> y'all go grill something.